Pixar Fest starts next Friday, just over a week. And my excitement for this event took a huge leap forward when I saw this foodie guide. The foodie guide was announced and I was expecting something light, something kind of fun, uh, something more along the Season of the Force or Star Wars month level, which was very light. This foodie guide is incredible. This goes beyond even food and wine. This is the biggest food event that I can recall, especially when it comes to for the number of venues and the actual number of new items. Just about everything that they're doing here is new. Although this, you know, that cake, obviously we've seen that cake before. <laughs> and I, I tell you what, before we get started, I'm gonna bet half of the cakes that, that get purchased for this event are gonna be just for photos only. It's gonna, <laughs> people are gonna take a picture of it, take a bite, and then it's gone. Because uh, it looks really good on social, but uh, maybe not so much, you know, it's just cake. But anyway, we're gonna scroll through this now, over here on your left, and uh, while I watch it here on my phone, we're gonna scroll through this foodie guide together and just explore. I, I've taken a brief look at this already, just to note the number of news and all that stuff. And with that, we'll just get right into it. Disneyland Park, uh, Alien Pizza Planet is going to participate, and as they should, Cosmic Chili Pasta. <laughs> they put in what, what each one is inspired by, obviously, Toy Story, uh, because it's at Pizza Planet. This is new. This is jalapeno cheddar pinwheel pasta topped with spiced chili. You know, um, I, I like the sounds of a lot of crushed corn chips. I like the sound of some of those words. But I don't trust a single thing to eat at Alien Pizza Planet, so this will probably not hit the short list, nor will that cheeseburger slice. You can see it here. We actually ate that. They, they, the, last, the last time they did a Pixar Fest, Liz and I, we were actually there to attend Star Wars Day, but we wound up, we wound up eating that pizza right there. It was not good. And it, that's, that's, that, that is a pickle, and that is hamburger on that pizza. It's a cheeseburger pizza slice. No, thank you. Obviously, the alien macaron, macaroon, <laughs> and a green drink. We'll probably pass on that. Cafe Orleans has the Earth Pass cake. I'm going to assume it's that one right there. Cake inspired by Soul. This is new. Lemon cream cheese mousse with a mango passion fruit compote and Brittany dough base with white chocolate covered popping candies. Carnation Cafe. Now this is not new, but it's interesting. They have a fried bologna sandwich inspired by Up. Monterey Jack, mustard and mayo on white bread served with house-made chips, cinnamon apples, and a pickle spear. I love comfort food. This is where we get started. When, I, when we talk about the kind of, you know, the fun foods, I love comfort food like this. That looks really great, but so too. Can we get into that Jolly Holiday Silencio Bruno sandwich inspired by Luca? Chopped ham, salami, pepperoni, provolone, lettuce, tomato, pickled onion, and pepperoncini. I love Italian sandwiches. And that, the, what kind of bread was that? An Italian roll. Oh. They may got me there. Jolly Holiday. I, or is that Jolly Holiday? Yeah, Jolly Holiday. And then Gibson Girl also. <laughs> they have an ice cream scone. I said ice cream cone. That looks great. <laughs> I definitely, that's going to be Instagram worthy right there as well. That looks great. Hopefully it doesn't melt too fast. It's supposed to be warm for this event. Hopefully it doesn't melt too fast because that looks really fun. And I like fun food. I like to have fun when I eat. Definitely. There's the Pixar Fest cake. You get that at the Plaza Inn. Usually they always have a cake. Whatever the theme cake is, it's at the Plaza Inn. Rancho del Zocalo has the Rivera family huarache, inspired by Coco. Fried, I was going to say huarache, I thought they were talking about the, the shoe that, that the mom throws. Because that's what a huarache, a huarache is, a shoe, right? But is it food? Because it's fried. Fried huarache. That's right. She's not, she doesn't throw, I'm going to keep trying. She's throwing a chancla. So that must be the... It looks like a shoe, doesn't it? It looks like, okay, so <laughs> we can call that a chancla. Uh, fried huarache, huarache with pollo asado, beans, cabbage, pepper, cotija cheese, sour cream, and lime. That looks fun. 
That looks fun. So too does, does the uh, Marigold Bridge inspired by Coco. Probably really sweet. That looks really, really sweet, really rich. And maybe I could have a bite or two of that. But it looks fun. I like the bridge. That's really neat how they did that. Red Rose is going to have the Fergus Fizz inspired by Brave. Cranberry Raspberry Mix and Sprite with Butterscotch Topper and Granola Crumble. I don't know what that's got to do with any of those ingredients have to do with Brave. And why they have to keep messing with Sprite, I don't know. I'll probably pass on that. And then there's the, oh, there's one more. The Barbecue Potato Dog. Smoked Sausage, that's this one right there. Smoked Sausage, Barbecued Pulled Pork, Coleslaw Fried Onions, and Green Onions served in a baked potato. Oh, that's not a bun. That's a baked potato. <laughs> Barbecue potato dog. Okay. Stage Story Cafe has a, there's a snake on my funnel cake. <laughs> that's great. I like that. I, I don't like funnel cake, so I probably won't get this, but that's, that's pretty clever. There's a snake on my funnel cake inspired, obviously, by Toy Story. Funnel cake topped with chocolate peanut butter pudding. That sounds good. Cookie crumbles, peanut butter, dust and a candy snake. That I will get at the Tropical Hideaway. The Pineapple Coconut Float inspired by Lava. Blue, blue Dole Pineapple. I love Dole Whips. I love fun Dole Whips. Blue Pineapple Coconut Juice. Oh, the coconut juice is blue. Topped with Dole Whip Soft Serve, obviously. Strawberry Lava. And a gummy, non-alcoholic. Oh, and a gummy. It's non-alcoholic. I'm getting that one at least once. Oh, these look fun. Troubadour Tavern. Finally, we get a new menu at the Troubadour Tavern. They, they closed uh, the, the, the Lion King show there. And the, the food that was being served, it still is being served today, is still themed to the Lion King. I just had some the other day. But we're getting a new menu at the Troubadour as part of the Pixar. They're doing a thing. They're doing a, a kid's playtime thing at the theater, at the Fantasyland Theater. Stay tuned to Fresh Bakes. I think we're going to be doing a getting ready for Pixar Fest type video on our main channel. We'll talk about that there. But there's, gonna, there's a ton of, oh my gosh, there's so much. That's a tiny little joint, but they got a lot to offer here. Uh, okay, let's get started. A Roundup Barbecue Potato. Another potato, because they're famous for the potatoes, the Troubadour is. That's what I had just the other day. A Roundup Barbecue Potato inspired by Toy Story. Brisket, burnt ends. I love burnt ends. Tossed in Coca-Cola barbecue sauce. Creamy slaw. Love it. Pickle spear and onion flavored snacks. That's on the short list. Una Papa Loca. Inspired by Coco. Uh, that's got to be that guy right there. Chicken al pastor. I'm pointing at my phone. I hope you don't mind. Chicken al pastor. Cheese, avocado salsa, and sour cream topped with onion. And cilantro with spiced corn chip crumble. I think I, I think I like the sound of that. Firetown, Firetown mac and cheese bites, inspired by Elemental. The Elemental food is going to be really, really cool, really fun. There's more to come. I again, I, I took a you know a brief tour through here just to kind of look at the images. That's going to be the star of the show. I I, I think. Fried Gouda mac and cheese bites tossed in four chili rub. I'm going to be spending some time at the Troubadour Tavern and hopefully at, the, at the, that little play area back there with the Fantasyland Theater. Joyful Tenders and Mac inspired by Inside Out. That is just chicken tenders and mac and cheese. Don't be in a hurry to try that out. Mixed Emotions Popcorn. Eh, it's a medley Inside Out. Uh, Adventure is Out There Cold Brew, that's new. And the Lotso Berry Lemonade, inspired by Toy Story, also new. All of this is non-alcoholic, naturally. We're in Disneyland. They do serve alcohol at Disneyland, but only in table service restaurants. So they got a lot to offer there. I'll get it, I'll get it probably four of those things. I'll get two of those entrees, maybe all three of the entrees, except for the kids, and those two drinks. Both, all that's going to be on my list. Down to the Buzz or the uh, Churro Stand. That's, this is the Churro Stand in Tomorrowland, the one in between Buzz Lightyear and Star Tours. Blackberry Churro inspired by Toy Story. 
Classic churro rolled in blackberry sugar. Served with a strawberry banana dipping sauce. I'll give that a shot. Have you guys ever had the... They have a Buzz Lightyear churro all year round in DCA. I wonder... That, did they even mention that? That is delicious. It tastes like a Red Hot. Do you guys remember Red Hots? Do people still... Do, can you still get Red Hots? But that's what they taste like. I grew up on Red Hot, so I know it. Uh, we're, okay, we're in DCA now. Uh, Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta has the... I recently learned that m me and probably everybody else in the world has been spelling or pronouncing this incorrectly. Birria. Birria. Not Buria. Birria. Did I get that right? Birria. <laughs> With mozzarella cheese, onions, and cilantro, tomatilla salsa, radishes, limes, and consomme. I don't see a picture of that. But I'll try it. At the Cozy Cone, Junkyard Jamboree Churro, inspired by cars. That's chocolate espresso sugar dusted churro with chocolate engine oil sauce. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Have fun with it. You can tell me it's engine oil sauce and I'm going to believe you. I'm like, oh, cool. I'm going to get to eat engine oil because we're in cars. And then with assorted candy parts like a junkyard. Hell yeah. I'll take it. I don't, though, normally enjoy... The stuff that they do in the cones, the bread cones. Uh, Cozy Cone Motel 3 has the chili, you know, at the chili cone queso. They've got a Luigi and Guido cone, inspired by cars, obviously. Cheese tortellini. Eh. Pomodoro sauce, which looks like a red sauce, if I can tell. And mozzarella topped with a basil panko and served in a bread cone. I'm probably going to pass on that one. <laughs> that looks really, really fun. Uh... That is at Clarabelle's. Adventure is out there. Inspired by Up. Vanilla ice cream, hot fudge, whipped cream, and candied balloon and a waffle. It's just a, it's a regular Sunday because you can't really do too much with vanilla ice cream, hot fudge, and whipped cream. Those are standards. It's not like you can... Anyway. But you've got the balloon on there, and instantly you've got something that's fun to eat. That may be one of our desserts. And we got a rhythm break here at Flo's V8 Cafe. Dynaco Blue Cheeseburger inspired by... I'm, I'm, I'm pausing. I'm taking a breath because that looks amazing. Angus beef. That's a very hearty looking patty there. Oh, Angus beef and mushroom patty with blueberry compote, blue cheese crumbles, red onion, bacon, tomato, arugula, and lemon aioli. That sounds wild. They're just making stuff up. I am definitely putting that on the shortest of short list. If only, I don't know if it's going to taste good, but I just need to know. I just need to know what that tastes like. I love this racing radial cake inspired by cars. Chocolate cake filled with red cheesecake covered in dark chocolate glaze with a silver stripe. Probably, I don't, probably not my first choice for a dessert, but it looks fun. Now, they mentioned at the Hollywood Lounge, Ramon nachos inspired by cars. There's no picture. We're going to get to that because I think that they're actually serving that at Studio Catering Truck. We'll get to that. Motorama Girl inspired by cars. Vodka rum, that's the blue drink. Vodka rum, blue curacao, and pineapple cocktail. That's probably going to cost about $18. And it's not going to look as good as that. They're going to serve it in a plastic cup. I wish you could get fun, you know, glasses to drink this stuff out of instead of plastic cups. It kind of takes some of the fun out of it. And I like to have fun when I'm going to a food festival. Uh, okay, they got some cookies at Nom Noms. I'll pass. Not even going to get into that. Lamplight Lounge has the Agua Chili Negro Tostadas inspired by Elemental. I need an excuse to go to Lamplight Lounge, and that might be it. That looks really fun. Colorful. Interesting. The flavors are all over the place. We're looking at citrus and beet marinated ahi tuna. Avocado mousse. Mango pico de gallo. Fresno chilies, which apparently are the best chilies. Fr Fresno chilies. Micro cilantro and charred pepper chili sauce. And served. Oh, it's served tableside. 
I want to get that. Maybe Liz and I will make a run over to Lamplight Lounge and we'll try a couple things. It looks like that's all. Oh, no, they have that and the, uh, the coal nut puffs. That's the other elemental thing that I was thinking. Okay, so if you've never seen Elemental, they spend half the movie smashing these coal nut puffs. And you're just one. That's that thing that they just invented. It's like blue milk in Star Wars. They just invented this coal nut puff. That's, it's, a, it's a treat that the people in Firetown enjoy. And you get them at whatever their place was called. I forget now. Uh, and it looks really fascinating. This, they've actually done a pretty reasonable job of resembling that. I will get an agua chili negro tostada and a coal nut puff at Lamplight Lounge, although I think they're going to be serving these at one of the marketplaces. We'll get to that. Magic Key Terrace. <laughs> I do love a seafood plate. Luca seafood pasta inspired by Luca. Grilled prawns, clams, Spanish chorizo, spicy white wine, tomato sauce, papadel pasta, mustard frills, and charred lemon half. Charred lemon. However, this requires both a magic key and a reservation. Or you can get a standby, I guess. But uh, that might be a little bit difficult to get. I don't know if we'll get to that one. But that does look great. That's probably a $30 bowl, though, I will say. That's probably going to be about $30. Bucks. Recuerdame at Paradise Garden Grill. Wow. Look at that wet burrito. Inspired by Coco, of course. I do love a wet burrito. I really do. House-made pork carnitas, Spanish rice, refried beans, cilantro, onions, salsa verde, and salsa roja. Oh, that's the, on the, you know, that's the wet part. Served with house-made tortilla chips. Looks great. I love the two-tone color on that. That's great. And then some El Pastor tacos. Those are inspired by Coco. Pineapple achiot marinated pork. Sounds flavorful with avocado spread and tomatillo salsa. There's the huarache again. That's the same huarache we saw at, I forget where. So there's multiple, you know, some of these items you can get at multiple locations. I like that. Street style Western or watermelon with lime juice. Not pictured, but we did enjoy that at the last food event. That, that, the watermelon, it was pretty tasty. I enjoyed that actually. It's a huge piece of watermelon though. Uh, let's see, chili verde chicken flautas, not new. You know what, we'll just skip the rest of that because I believe it's pretty standard. We'll go to Schmoozie's next. We got a 2319. Guys, can we all just acknowledge for a minute that, that, that we as a Disney loving collective, be that parks or the films, can all enjoy and all celebrate in the idea of 2319. Like, it's all, you're part of the club, you know what I mean? Like, I know it's not, it's a very broad thing, but just being able to make a shake that uh, is representative of 2319. I feel like that's fun. That's fun. That's why I like being part of these communities, so we can do things just like this. It's a, a, inspired by Monsters, Inc., vanilla, orange, guava, and pineapple shake with shaved coconut, whipped topping, and an orange cone. And that looks, <laughs> it looks like him. <laughs> I, I want to have this for sure. That looks great. Uh, Smoke Jumpers has got a couple drinks. They got the Blue Raspberry Lemonade by, by inspired by Brave. Again, I don't know why these are. Blue, the movie Brave does not conjure ideas of anything really food related. There's also a uh, oh, there's two. It's the same thing. One's one's alcoholic, one isn't. Okay, Sonoma Terrace has pesto chicken, and there is the nachos that we're talking about. Studio Catering Company. The Ramon nachos, inspired by cars, tortilla chips topped with grilled chicken, queso blanco, refried beans, pico de gallo, salsa verde, cotija, serrano peppers, and radishes. Before you dismiss this as something that you get at a studio catering truck, let me just go ahead and speak on the behalf of the studio catering truck. When I say their food hardly ever lets me down. Some of the best food I've ever had <laughs> at DCA is from the studio catering truck. So I will put that on my short list because I trust the studio catering truck. Churros. We've got a multicolored churro, churro inspired by Monsters, Inc. Classic churro dusted with multicolored sugar and topped with white cherry drizzle. Okay. The churros by Goopy Sky School. It's a Mr. Potato Head chip churro. It's a, it's a regular churro topped with crushed potato chips 
and chocolate drizzle. Okay, I, I'm really curious. I'm actually, I mean, it's just particular. You know, we, we're, when we're young, we're all like, hey, let's get crazy. And our idea of getting crazy with our food when we're young and trying to be experimental with putting potato chips in our sandwich, this kind of reminds me of that, obviously. So outdoor vending carts. Uh, I'm going to guess that's like at the Paradise Garden Grill or outside of it, you know, as you enter that area. Ooh, here we go. Here's the Pixar Marketplace places. They don't arrive until May 10th, though. They're not going to be open on April 26th when Pixar Fest starts. I'm, I'm, I'm learning that just now. May 10th through August 4th. Oh, this is going to run a while. May, June, July, August. Is that how long Pixar Fest is going? We're going to have time to eat all this. Not in one day like we do food and wine. There's just too much. But I'm going to take a run. I'm going to try everything new. Let's do it. Guys, let's do it. We'll do a everything new at Pixar Fest video. And it'll take me a little while to do all this. But I've got a wife. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be willing to help me on some of this at least. We're going to do it. it, it it's going to take us a week or two at least, I think. But we're going to give that a shot. And that's the reason why it's not, I can't do it. Because not only are they serving all that food at these regular you know, dining locations, but now we're adding... Food and wine festival style marketplaces. I don't know if they're going to be exactly booths. They don't really describe it, but that's how they describe the booths in, the, in food and wine, our marketplaces. Four Town. Four Town, four, four Town favorites, obviously inspired by Turning Red. The Red Panda Bao looks great. Jumbo pork and vegetable stuffed bao with chili garlic sauce. And the Panda Apocalypse. <laughs> Layers of chocolate chunk brownie and New York style cheesecake topped with orange and red cream cheese frosting. Sounds great. And nobody like you cooler. Joffrey's coffee and tea, raspberry rose tea, white cranberry. So that's a non-alcoholic tea-like beverage. And you're gonna get that at the marketplace. There's a, there's a soul-inspired The Spark marketplace. That's sh uh, supper club chicken and potato waffles with peach cobbler sauce and cinnamon herb. Is that, a, is that an entree or dessert? I think these are all desserts. Half note jazz cake looks great on a plate. We're not going to get that fun plate. This is, you know, they mess with you on these images. They make it look so great, but we're just, it's going to get served to us in a little paper thing. The Great Beyond, <laughs> I love the name. I, I love the name. Gin, maraschino liqueur, violet and blue curacao syrups, lemon juice, and pear nectar topped with butterfly pea flower tea and garnished with a white orchid. Drink that and you go to the afterlife. <laughs> a sparkler. Cotton candy and blue curacao syrups, mango puree and pineapple and lime juices garnished with a glow cube. Looks fun. Looks like something you would get at a jazz club. And the rest is just standard stuff, you know, uh, like beers, etc. Oh, it's a lot of drinking. So, yeah, that's what, I guess, is that what they're saying? Is that there's one dessert, two desserts, and the rest is alcohol. This is uh, your inspiration or you're heading into the afterlife, one or the other. Gusto's to go. Looking forward to this. Inspired by Ratatouille. Ratatouille pizza, pizza, which means, I guess, small pizza. Topped with mozzarella, eggplant, squash, zucchini, a drizzle of tomato sauce, and a wedge of French camembert. That's a piece of cheese. I think I want to get that just to know what a, what a chunk of cheese on top of a pizza tastes like. I need to know. Uh, there's a Gusto macaron, creme brulee, mousse with caramel center. Yeah, I, I like macarons. They're great. That looks fun. Le Critique Cognac Sidecar. Cognac apricot liqueur, a house-made fig syrup, strawberry puree, and lemon juice topped with sparkling wine and garnished with... I mean, that looks fun. It also looks like $18. Little French daiquiri, rum, French wine, aperitif, pear nectar, cherry plum syrup, and lime juice garnished with a brulee pear chip. Whatever. Uh, we'll see. Portoroso pasta inspired by Luca. They have, but just the one pasta dish at this marketplace. It's a por 
portoroso pesto pasta, ribbon pasta tossed in basil pesto with potatoes and green beans. It looks standard, sounds standard, uh, but there you go. There's a sea monster. <laughs> Lemonade, white grape juice, and peach syrup garnished with blue citrus mango jellies. I think I need to try that. And then silencio limoncello. Limoncello, amaretto, and Aperol liqueurs. Blood orange syrup. They always, that always sounds worse than it really is. Lemonade and house-made oregano tea garnished uh, with micro daisies. I'll pass on that one, but the Sea Monster Lemonade looks and sounds fun. Elemental Marketplace. Here we go. Smoked firewood, barbecue spiced impossible chicken. I know I, for a long time I was gung-ho on the impossible dishes that they served at Disneyland, but the last few that we've tried have not been very good, especially the chicken ones. So I'm a little concerned, but that plating looks great. It looks fantastic. It's impossible chicken with hot mustard sauce, pickles, and charred onions. I gotta know. I, I just, I guess I gotta know. There's the coal nut whoopee cookie pie again. And the H2O Rita, not a margarita, but an H2O Rita, tequila, blue curacao syrup, lychee nectar, yuha. Is that yuha or yuja puree? I'm gonna go yuha. And lime juice garnished with a rock candy stick. And then there's the exothermic margarita. I'll take two, thank you very much. Tequila, Anko chili liqueur, passion fruit nectar, lime and grapefruit juice, and agave nectar garnished with a rock candy stick. And again, they're not gonna look as fun without those cool glasses, sorry about that. <laughs> and then one more, one more marketplace, that's the hangar management, inspired by Inside Out. <laughs> that plating in the middle one looks angry, doesn't it? Joyful yellow comforting mac and cheese with happy cheese puffs. Oh, I get it. It's just mac and cheese with cheese puffs on top. Uh, angry red hot mac and cheese with spicy cheese crunch. That's basically just going to be the spicy Cheetos. The crumble, you know, on there. Uh, mood swing. Half portion of the joyful yellow comforting mac and cheese and the angry... Oh. Oh. They're going to give you half and half. That I can get into. I think I'm down for that. And then... A mood stabilizer, which is a mule. Liz will probably try that for us. Downtown Disney is in on it as well. Jazz Kitchen, they've got a cocktail. Splitsville has got a cocktail. Wetzel's Pretzels has got pretzels. And uh, there's cake pops, etc. that you can get throughout the downtown Disney. Did we just do the whole thing? Oh. We've arrived at the non-edible portion. Novelties. Is that a Coco Guitar popcorn bucket? I've heard of the, the, the Toy Story uh, Pizza Planet truck popcorn bucket, which, I mean, that's, that's really great. I, I love it. Just like Jabba the Hutt, that's one, that's one of the things that might inspire me to actually eventually buy one of these, is that, that Pizza Planet truck. That's a macaron straw clip. And that, yeah, guitar bucket. And then the, uh, where is it? Uh, Edna Mode is a bottle topper. Oh, there's more. There's the Panda May straw clip, a Pixar ball and lamp straw clip. I don't understand the allure to those. Pixar ball sipper. Oh, it's a drink container. Okay. And then a Pixar Fist popcorn bucket. Eh, I don't get those. Is there more? There is more. A tumbler, a Pixar Fest stainless steel tumbler, a Pixar Fest travel tumbler, a slinky dog sipper, <laughs> and a magic key dug popcorn bucket. I mean, <laughs> they're fun, they're great. I, I just can't see myself going all the way, but that looks fun. People are gonna go nuts for this stuff. That's it, we did the whole thing. Guys, I can't wait to check all this stuff out for you. Pixar Fest starts on April 26th, and then the Parker Place is on May 10th. We're going to be there on the 26th, the 28th, the 29th. Uh, we got a bunch of dates lined up for Pixar Fest. Be patient with the video output because obviously it's going to take us a while. We can't shoot the videos and also edit them at the same time or get everything ready and published at the same time. So be patient with us in that regard. And then hopefully within a, a week or two, I can, I can put together a compilation of 
all of the new foods and maybe even give you some of our hits and misses. That would be an excellent, outstanding video. That'll be on our main channel, Fresh Baked Proper. Uh, there's a link in the description and uh, I hope you guys stay tuned for that. I hope you guys are ready for Pixar Fest. There's other things to be enjoying. There's going to be, they're going to have a dance party at, D at DCA, like an old Mad Tea Party situation. There's going to be a parade at DCA for the first time in years. They got a thing set up over there at the Fantasyland Theater for kids to play. It's playtime, Pixar theme, playtime thing. Uh, fireworks, a Pixar theme fireworks. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be great. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, everybody. We love you. Uh, if you haven't already, please do consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash freshbaked. Follow us on Instagram at underscore freshbaked or on Twitter at freshbakedisney. That's fresh with no E. And on TikTok at freshbakedisney. Otherwise, we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. We love you. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. Fresh baked.